playing, y'all. Y'all better keep those hands clapping, y'all. Y'all probably just yelling now. Can't hear you. You got something to say. You mean you? What am I saying? 
I'm saying, just don't be up here, just be up here making the songs wrong. It's a birthday session now. Everybody want to play. Love y'all. God bless y'all. Make music.
What now if you find Look into their
That is what I'm talking about. Y'all give it up. Adam Johnson is in the bed over there. Adam, Adam saw this sussy. He just brought his family out. Now he put his face out, so we already know what's about to happen right now. He thought he was going to sneak in, but nobody going to say nothing. Hey, it's all love. It's all love. Now, there's something going on here that I need to make sure that we all understand. And we are working here together to do the best that we can in the situation. And sometimes we are good, sometimes we are bad. Now, anybody ever watch uh, Bar Rescue or any of them shows like that? I know some of you guys know that they, they come in and they take over a space and they give them a new menu and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden, they throw a thousand people at them, right? And they do what's called a stress test. And I've been talking about this stress test for a while. Now I want you guys to understand and recognize and realize what's happening around you. There are many places in the city of Baltimore, there are many places in the world that does not have as many people in attendance that come on a regular basis. Now, me, go ahead, put your hands together for that real quick time to be in the, in the spot where these many people are at. Okay, so in keeping with that, you you know people people didn't go to college to to work in the, in, the, in an alley, okay? So we're gonna try to do the best we can to, to to get an order in with some chicken, some some fries, maybe something to drink, and maybe we might get you out of all the people that look exactly like you at your tables, and we might get it right a hundred percent of the time. But guess what? It ain't really like that. So we're going to try to do the best we can. If you have been wronged in any, any form or fashion, you let us know. We're going to try to do the best we can to right the wrong. So if you've been waiting for some iced tea and you've been ignored, we're going to make sure that we get your, your cool, refreshing drink. And we're going to try to get that right for you because there are a lot of people that appreciate what's happening here. And on that note, while appreciating what's happening here, we are also under what's called a, a, a hater watch. Can y'all say hater watch? That means that people see you doing something good, they watching and they hate you. So what's happening is the people that might live in the neighborhood, after a certain time, they start to call the police and say that they don't like what's happening over here in this space. So that makes us at a position where these people who drive miles and miles to come to a, a place where their music can be appreciated, where they don't have to get on a list, where they can just play some music with some other musicians that have studied like they have studied and they have a place to go that it can continue to be there. So I'm only taking this time to say it so that you guys understand that we do need you. So do a couple steps. Go to the QR code, find the petition, sign the petition so we can take that to the liquor board. We can let them know that there's something that needs to be preserved that's happening in this space. We're not just asking you for your money just to whatever. We're trying to survive in this situation, okay? So don't play games with this. Don't play games with what's happening. If you're not having a good service, let's make sure we get that fixed because we got to keep this thing going. We're not going to shut it down. We're not going to let people talk bad about it. Is that all right? Yeah. We're going to fix it. We're going to make it right. If you're not happy, let's get happy, okay? Let's make some music. Let's have fun.
Let me break the monotony real quick. If you have not already had an opportunity to do so, please go to www.datfeelgood.com. That's D-A-T-F-E-E-L-G-O-O-D.com. That is the website for Mr. Clarence Ward III and his project, That Feel Good. We use the term that feel good because it's all about the feeling. So if you allow the vibe to flow through, it will not only move you, but they will groove you if you allow them to. Y'all having a groovy time tonight? If you're having a real groovy time, don't forget that the people that are helping you to have that good time is it's, it's the food, the drinks, the music. So if you are appreciating the food, the drinks, and the music, make sure you tip the food, the drinks, the music. Make sure you take care of that situation. If you don't got it, we understand, but if you do got it, don't hold back on it. I don't, I'm, I'm telling you that we just need to make this thing work. So help, help, this, help the staff, don't forget to tip them. Give, 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 you know, like they said, give Black a chance, all right? Give them give a chance, give them a chance. And it's okay to continue to put money in the tip basket if you want like to walk up to it, you can. It's kind of fancy. They be like, "Ooh, somebody coming! Ooh, let's play, let's play special." It's like, like when the puppies be at the, at, the, at the pet store and they see you come up to the cage and they get excited because you might take them home. Think they get like, "Oh, woo. think about that when somebody playing it."
Check it out, y'all. Um, y'all ever started something and didn't finish it? Y'all give me some space right quick and we're gonna, we gonna set up something different. Appreciate y'all. Give it up for the horn players so far. Give it up for all the people who came to be a part of the jam session. Now, like I was saying, how many of you have ever started something and didn't finish it? But like you were winning, like it, you know, like you were, you were winning the game, and it was about to be the yeah. best victory ever. Has that ever happened to you? Now, that happened to somebody who's here with us today. Hey. Can we kill that for a second. What is that? Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Aaron is your speaker picking up your music. All right, cool. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. So, um, y'all remember there was this thing called COVID, right? It's still around to some places. But um, there's, a, there's a show on TV called The Voice. Y'all familiar with The Voice? All right, now, this, the, very, the very last season was interrupted by COVID, and we had a, a, a performer who was, who was making waves with that, that, that competition. And we have the privilege and honor of having that performer with us tonight here at the session. So we're gonna go ahead and put our hands together and welcome Mr. Nelson K. the third. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, wait up. Now, it's what's so special about Nelson is he's the third, and you know, Clarence is the third, so we like anything that's the third, you know, so I, I don't, I, how, what, do you need anything from us to make this work? Uh, you need a quarter inch. Um, do we any yeah, a guitar player with a quarter inch that we can make happen? I didn't know that. Anybody yeah, guitar player yeah, with a quarter inch? We're gonna help make that happen. Be a part of the problem and be, be part of the solution. It's like, yeah, man, I got you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. What am I plugging? He got you. Hi, Baltimore. <laughs> My name is Nelson Cave the Third. I'm very new here. I uh, I moved from Hollywood and now I live here, and it's really cool. I did not know I was going to walk into something like this without heard music and I followed it, so that was really cool. That's right. <laughs> play on some uh, John Mayer. I'm kind of an eclectic musician, so jazz is a little, uh, this is an interesting spot for me. I hope y'all like this.
Amen. Oh, uh, once again, yeah, so I'm new here, so thank you, Baltimore. Uh, my name is Nelson K. III. You might have seen me on last year. I was the first four chair to turn on the voice. Uh, got to work with John Legend and Stevie Wonder and LMA and all kinds of crazy stuff. So um, I'm going to be in the Baltimore Jazz Festival. Yeah, that was cool. Didn't see that coming, but yeah. yeah. Oh, well, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing with the, um, I, I think I have my own set, and my managers just went back. I'm pretty sure I get a set, and then I'm going to be playing with the Russell, um, oh, the name evades me, but it's like, yeah, it's a big band. Russell, I want to say Russell Graham, something like that. What's wrong, right? Thank you. Benny Russell Big Band. I'm going to be playing with them, and then a little set, yeah. So August 29th, come on out, y'all. Thank you. It's good that his brother brought that up, brought up that uh, Baltimore Jazz Festival because uh, he's going to be there the, on the 29th with, uh, you said, Benny Russell, big man, and I'll be there on the 28th. I, if I'm not mistaken, I'll be closing out the show with my band, That Feel Good. If you haven't heard the album yet, it came out about a month ago. Go to thatfeelgood.com. Hey, it don't feel good without the D, so make sure if it don't have a D in the beginning, you're not at the right site. That feel good. Dot com. Check out my album, download it. Hey, and I should have hard copies within the next month. And uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Rufus. Where's Rufus, man? We got a guitar plugging in over here. I don't do that, you know. I do a lot of stuff, but I don't do that. Set my guy up.
up to the hour of 11, but it's only if you guys are in here trying to make this thing move as expeditiously as possible. So we don't want to have a lot of gap in between the songs. We don't want to have a lot of uh, overage because we're running out of time. Now, also, around the facility, I want you to put your phones in camera mode and just get close to it, but close enough to capture the QR code. And then that way, as soon as you do that, there's a big yellow flyer on the QR, uh, and it's going to be the petition that you need to sign to help keep this uh, live music happening here. So we just want you to make sure at some point that you capture the QR code. Some of you can capture it from far away with your zoom in or whatever. It's not even that you got to get up. So I'll try to come around to you, but we just want to make sure you guys sign a petition, keep this music going. You guys who are playing, jump in. Let's make it happen quick as possible so we can get all the music in tonight. Thank you, guys.
So we can't leave without playing a theme song. So we're going to play this joint for you. Feel good. And we're going to get up out of here. If you enjoy the music, show us some love. Play the tips so I can pay these guys. And I'd like to thank you all for coming out and hanging with us for my birthday. And uh, we hope to see you again next week. Each and every Monday, we're here at Terra Cafe. Uh, real quick, we got to show some love to the band on keys. We got Aaron Hill, y'all. Aaron Hill, show some love. The house bass player, Alan Bernard Branch on drums. A Branch won the third. Oh, look, Sam King. He won the originals with the band, man, early on. He had with us. He did in the next couple weeks. No Branch won the third on Flugel tonight. I might bring out some sax next week, so if you want some sax, come next week. Yeah, I give you all the sax you want, eh?
Lord the third on the floor. Blake Meester, Father of our Prince, Rufus Round Chin, Brian T. Terry T on this place, Terry Cafe, thank you very much. It's every Monday we had the session. We gotta take this joint out now. See y'all next Monday. Next Wednesday we get PS Keystar Jelly on the 28th. Get your tickets, come hang with us, that's feel good. If you haven't heard of the, the album, get it. And feelgood.com. See y'all next week. Peace. Next week, Terra Cafe, same time, 7.30 to 10.30. I'll be at Keystone Corner next Wednesday on the 28th. Uh, yeah, man, we got to put some promos in, huh? You right with me? Uh, it's on the 28th, that feel good. Keystone Corner, get your tickets. See y'all then, peace. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's how I pull it out, man.
Well, at least I believe. 